or no, wait, the the F can be part of the ZFG, so we can do space Z, and then our file name. And then the G. Unfortunately, it's capitalized. Sorry about that. But here we go. This one's for the PB today from ZFG. Yeah, let's skip 729. That'd be really cool. If any percent required beating Ganon, what would the time be roughly? Uh, any percent, there is a uh, defeat Ganon ace setup that Mr. Cheese found with the old uh, any percent for uh, 64. If instead of um, going into the house of twins, if you uh, died and then uh, I think it's just, you, yeah, you just die. You warp to the Ganon collapse cutscene sequence with Zelda and then you just go defeat Ganon. So that, that's defeat Ganon ace. It's really silly. Let's go straight to 728. We'll, see. we'll, we'll try. We'll see. I've had some 725 pace runs that died at the end and I don't know why. Like, the, the last loading zone just didn't play the credits. I guess my heap was bad, but for some reason, sometimes the heap is okay, sometimes it's not. Whenever I'm setting up, walking back and forth in the hallway. But I haven't figured out the specifics of why that sometimes fails, and I think it's just my camera angle is bad. You know about uh, how much movie night saves? Yeah, movie night saves 15 to 20 seconds at the moment. If we can find a faster angle setup at the very end, then it can save another three. And you can see my summon best is 7.15 right now. And that's without, uh, yeah, that is with RNG rupees. So, because uh, I kept my old splits, but all the splits are just faster on GameCube. So I didn't have to, like, delete any be uh, uh, best splits or anything. So you can see my mix of GameCube and 64 splits. Um, and the sum of S right now is 715, but I'm not doing RNG rupees right now because I don't need to to PB. Once I get my time down low enough to where I need RNG rupees to PB, that's when I'll start doing it. Yeah, no problem. Glad to explain. Yeah, and now it's movie night instead of Seal Ganon because we skipped that part of the cutscene. We skipped uh, talking to Zelda. Thank you, Dampe is cute. Yeah, uh, you'll get to watch this any percent run. It's uh, interesting. It's, if you haven't watched it in a long time, if you're used to the defeat Ganon, uh, what you what is now defeat Ganon, where you would wrong warp in the deck tree, it is very different from that. But if you're used to the 64 uh, routes where we uh, where we did the SRM and hold his hands up and everything, it's very similar to that. Except uh, the hallway movement is a little bit different, and at the ending, instead of running into the House of Twins, we just walk past the, the loading plane again, and the, the loading plane again, and the credits play. Yeah, the game gets confused, as Mr. Cheese said. And thank you everyone for the follows. Much appreciated. So here we go. It's very... Pretty much all the any percent routes uh, ever since Ace was found is the same. You get your rupees and you get sword, shield, and Deku nuts. So that part in the beginning is going to be the same. And since we're not going for RNG rupees, we just need to get uh, two rupees out of the grass to continue the run like normal instead of uh, I think it's eight with if like the fast RNG rupees. Yes, I am Save State the Link, a uh, player from North Carolina. You are correct. I also speedrun Ocarina of Time. I'm a little bit behind here, but uh, not enough to actually matter. Yeah, North Carolina represent for sure. All right. So this bush up here is a 50-50 if we get a rupee from it or not. Unfortunately, we didn't. So we have to get two rupees from the bushes up here instead of just one. There's significantly worse odds, but not impossible. You're from Raleigh. Hell yeah. All right, that's two. We can continue the run. Up next is Bridge Clip. It's a one frame jump through the bridge. And then we 
collect this blue rupee up here. There's another blue rupee behind Midas. And then there's two uh, blue rupees in the grass right next to me. We do a little movement around it, around the shop, to collect our last blue rupee out here in the forest. And there is actually a rupee, not a lot of people know about it. If you skip across these grassy rocks, there's another rupee right there. And then we get the last one from behind the shop. It's 55, enough to buy the shield and get Deku Nuts so we can do our SRM and Ace. Uh, the odds for two rupees are usually pretty good. For like actual hard mode RNG rupees, not good. Like only one in nine runs or something like that, one in seven. All right, we're on PB pace. That's nice. Because I can save a lot of time here in the hallway if I do it right. Hello, sword. Okay, we'll just pull out our sword there. That's cool. Still save time. And let's let's finish it off. Let's get that sub 730. Yes! All right, there we go. Sub 730. Man, with the uh, the run right after ZFG. So yeah, so it, at the very end, instead of having to go into the House of Twins, you literally just run back across the loading zone and unload the, the Kukiri Forest, and then you get it. So yeah, there it is. That is uh, Ocarina of Time any percent on the GameCube. Um... So there's still a lot of time to be saved. You can see my sum of best is uh, at 7.15. And that comes with the RNG rupees. But right now, I'm just trying to see what I can do without that. Uh, so in the future, we'll, uh, we'll get that time down even more and more with time. And we might even find better angle setups at the end. Stuff like that. Um, but so what happens there at the end, normally, whenever we would do ace on the 64, we'd have to draw the, the invisible rupee over the skipping stones um, for, it was like 10 frames or something, and that would decrement the next cutscene value to, uh, or increment the next cutscene value to F8. And whenever, whenever your next cutscene value is F8 and you walk into the House of Twins, it wrong warps you to the credits. Um, oh, the, re the Riki Master, thank you for the sub. Uh, but what now we do is... Uh, we SRM the destroy function for Kukiri children, so we are destroying children. Uh, and whenever we do that, we call the. Uh, 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 normally, what it does is it jumps the function that it's leading from. Uh, but we change that with our angle in the SRM that we were doing to point to the file name. The file name points to the movie file function, and then the movie plays, and, and it's movie time. Grab your popcorn. That's it. And oh my goodness. Oh, that was from Redman. Thank you, Redman, for the five tier one subs. Much appreciated. So we got we got a couple of these coming up, folks. Yeah, the notifications are pretty loud. I wonder if I can change that. 
I think I have to do that through three now. So you'll just have to sit through one more. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, yeah, but we destroyed the Kokiri children to run our custom code. It is, uh, I don't think it's kosher, but hey, whatever it takes to get a, uh, a world record, you, you hear me? Alright, that should be it. And we get the $7.27 donation from Gam. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, that song is super sour, please. It's a great combination. I agree. And thank you, thank you for all the congratulations, folks. The ace instead runs whenever the Kokiri unloads. Yeah, yeah, so we are still doing ace. Um, but we are uh, doing ace. Uh, we are acing the part of the Kokiri unload function. And then we hijack that to load the, the credits movie. Yes, this does work on Dolphin Emulator. That's how we uh, originally did testing for it. Well, that's what uh, Mr. Cheese did testing for uh, CE in Dolphin. And then I just did it on console to see if it worked, and it did, so it works great. The luck and the skill were good. You are right, Jonathan. Absolutely right. Uh, GameCube has actually had Ace, as well as VC, uh, but there's been really, really strict restrictions about it. Um, you have to modify the function before it's compiled by the dynamic recompiler, which means it cannot run before, uh, before you modify it or otherwise that gets cached and, and the code you're modifying is you, do, you don't affect it at all. Um, and you also can't um, corrupt uh, the, the uh, function that you're modifying with some bad writes. Like some floats also get written when you're doing SRM. So if you write those bad writes to the function and it tries to compile that, it, the system crashes. So you have to have those bad writes be in another function above the one you're editing. So the one you're editing has to be small and yet has not and cannot have run by the time that you SRM it. Um, but it ended up working out, so... Yeah. Um, once this is probably sub 720, I'll look into all dungeons SRM. I've been meaning to run that, but then every time I'm like, oh, I want to run all dungeons SRM, uh, new stuff with any percent keeps popping up. I'm like, oh, one second, let me let me go check out what's going on over here. But like, like I keep saying, I'm gonna do all dungeons SRM after any percent, and then any percent keeps extending, and I'm like, oh, damn it, I wanna I wanna do that, but any percent. Yeah, OOT the Majora's Mask wrong warp, uh, wrong warp for a 200 percent category. Yeah, so there is. Uh, theory there's theoretically uh, all three file names are stored in the GameCube so what we could do is we could set up a payload with all three file names to wrong warp us from Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask uh, biggest meme of 20 uh, probably 2021 20, maybe 2020 depends on the how fast we get this done if it's not possible within the GameCube disc itself we can fortunately it's uh, probably going to be more possible on BC Although we will be calling Wii System OS calls instead of um, uh, like doing it all from within the game, so it'll be a little bit less legitimate, but it'll still be really funny. Um, so we could like jump from Ocarina of Time VC to Majora's Mask VC. But yeah, yeah. So uh, a really cool thing about how this works is we call arbitrary GameCube code, not 64 code. So we are jumping out of the emulator. Uh, we are, we are breaking. We are uh, breaking free of the matrix. Is, is a way to put it with how this works. Yeah, human first cycle for Majora's Mask. You can do that. Yeah, you could uh, with total control. You can uh, set up some sort of um, hook into the main system to do anything. With Ace, you can literally do anything. Arbitrary meme execution. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Because none of this would be serious. It'd be all for the laughs. Could theoretically be faster than doing an actual MM speedrun. <laughs> that is true. It is, it is actually true. But yeah, it is. Uh, this is a neat run. The technical side of it is really what makes it. Uh, there's just like so many layers to it. So much history behind it. So much packed into it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That is the end.
folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm glad that you're here to watch the uh, the PB for today. Um, let's go and see if there's someone we can raid. <laughs>